Are you tired of microcrafting in the early game? Are you sick of having to painfully plan out each step every time you want to craft a new steam machine or make more BBFs? Like me, many players have experienced the pain of having to click and drag recipe after recipe into a crafting station or forestry work table, not knowing when they'll be done. Well, now thanks to new updates to NEI or not enough items, this process has become much easier and has made stone, steam, and even LVH less tedious. In this video, we'll go over three things. First, how to use NEI and the features that are currently in the pack as of stable version 2.7.4. Second, we'll go over the process of how to update NEI to the latest version so you can experience the new updates. And third, I'll show you all the new features in depth and show you how you can get NEI to do basic auto crafting for you. Let's start with the features of NEI that are very vital to how you play GTNH. Outside of the search functionality, you can bookmark recipes for every block so that you can know the exact amount of items that you would have to gather to craft something. Simply by hovering over a recipe, such as fire bricks, which you will use to make your first BBF, you can click Control Shift A on your keyboard. This will add the recipe to the left side of your NEI page and now can be referred to as a bookmark. Now, when you first bookmark a recipe and you start to bookmark more, such as a bucket of concrete or uh, fire bricks, you will see that recipes are all in a row and jumbled. This is not readable and can be very confusing to new players. By pressing the one slash one over at the top of the page, you can actually now put the recipes in rows. So you can see that they're separated by their actual output on the left side. Again, this can also be changed in the config if you want it to be on the right side, but by default, if it's not, if they're all in a row, the recipe for the actual craft you want, to, the item you want to craft will be on the left side and in a row. And then if you click the one, one bookmarks group tab on the top, they'll become separated on the row with the actual item being the left side. So now what if you want to craft more than one fire brick? Well, actually, if you hover over the fire brick, control shift and scroll wheel, you can actually scroll wheel to the exact amount of items that you want to craft. Additionally, if you hold alt, while holding control shift, you can actually jump up the number by a stack every single time. Now, if you've ever been wondering what the bar on the bottom right is for and why it says one stack, this is how you can set how many items you need of a certain item in your bookmarks without much trouble. Let's take a bronze ingot for example. Most people know the recipe for bronze innately, so there's no need to bookmark the entire recipe. First, we're gonna hit A to put the bronze ingot material on the left side into our recipe bookmarks. And now we're gonna set the number in the bottom right corner. So now it says one stack, let's set it to 144, okay? Now, all you have to do is hover over your bronze that you have here and control, shift, alt, scroll wheel will actually jump the number up by the exact number that you put in the bottom corner. And if you scroll wheel again, it'll go up by 144 again and again and again, and it'll go down by that number. So you can set the exact amount of number, uh, the exact amount of items you need by the bottom right corner if you already know the recipe by memory and you just want to keep track of how many items you need to make. Warning you should always clear the value so that next time you do a recipe, it's not screwed up by whatever number happens to be in the bottom right corner. Okay, let's talk about the next stage of NEI bookmarks that will help level up your Greg score, grouping. Grouping is how you start to create crafting chains of recipes within your bookmark section. Using the example of the fire bricks once again, you can hover to the left of the item and see bookmarks group. Now, if you use your left click, you can drag and create a group out of these three recipes, which will now link them together. So now they are in a bookmarks group as noted by this gray bar. Now, if you right click on this bookmarks group and turn it to green, you will see that the recipe has automatically been updated to show you how many items of the subcomponents that you will need. So again, if this goes back to gray, this goes back to one fire brick for one compressed fire clay, one bucket of concrete. When I turn it to green and create an actual crafting chain, you will see that now I need 1,536 fire bricks, 256 buckets of concrete if I wanted to create four stacks of fire bricks. Some other things to note here are that holding alt over the bookmarks group will actually give you more information about the keybinds, which you can change in the config settings of NEI in game. Something such as shift A will actually just remove the full bookmarks group, the entire crafting chain from your bookmarks bar. So if it was this entire thing, you could remove it all by just clicking shift A. Additionally, if you click on the bookmarks group at the top, it'll condense 
it, the entire group down to one line. So now this will go back to the original format where it's all jumbled up, but it can really condense it down if you have multiple thing if you have multiple rows, it'll put it as few lines as possible. But you but if you want to expand again, all you have to do is click on it. So you can also additionally add more items by going to the next bookmarks pet tab. So you can add as many items as you want on this page, and then you can go to the next page and start a new one. And if you add, and if you were to add items here like this, you can actually make another page and you can add items here and keep going and go on and so forth. Now, additionally, if you start gathering lots and lots of bookmarks here and it starts to go off the page, it'll actually give you an option to go to the second page of the first bookmarks tab. Now that can be very confusing. You'll have a secondary and a third page and a fourth page, whatever happens to be, of this first bookmarks tab. So this is the bookmarks tab, and then this is how many pages are in that bookmarks tab. To keep it not confusing, I tend to not go over maybe about at this point on the bookmarks tab. And if I start to get down to the bottom, I just create a new page. That way I don't have recipes that are spilling over into the next page as that can be very confusing. So just, uh, just for reference, you can create multiple bookmarks pages and you can have multiple pages within those pages, but that can be very confusing. So make sure that you understand where your recipes are going every time that you bookmark something. Let's talk about how to update your mod pack so that you can have the newest features of NEI, which will allow you to auto craft. And trust me, you're going to want to update. If you are playing on a recent nightly version of GTNH from some time in the last few days, as of April 26, 2025, you will have these features and will not need this next step. Additionally, if you are watching this after the 2.8 update has been released, you will also not need to do this step. If you are on a stable version of 2.7.x, you will need to download and add both NEI and GTNHLib into your mods folder. Both download pages are linked in the description. You will need, at the very minimum, the 0.6.20 version of GTNHLib. The most recent version of as of recording this is, is 0.6.21 and is compatible. Download the jar labeled gtnhlib numberjar not any of the other ones unless you know what you are doing. Drag it into your mods folder of your instance and delete the previous version of gtnhlib that's there. If you are on gtnh version 2.7.4, the version you need to delete is 0.5.23. Next, you will download at the minimum NEI version 2.7.40-gtnh. Again, only download the NEI-number-gtnh.jar unless you know what the others do. Again, drag and drop that mod into your mods folder and delete the previous version. If you are on 2.7.4, you will delete 2.6.54-gtnh.jar. After updating both your mods, you will need to launch your GTNH instance and then close out of it to repopulate the config file for NEI. This is important to get the correct updated config so you can change its settings. With the game closed out, you can now go into configs, into the subfolder of NEI, into client.config. From here, you'll see in the first few lines under the inventory section, it says auto crafting equals false. You'll change this to true and then save and close out of the config. Now you can relaunch your game. Okay, it's finally time to talk about why all of you are here. You want to know how you can auto craft with NEI. Well, it's a simple process, but you need to do a few things first before you can get there. First, make sure that auto crafting is set to true in the client config. As I showed in the previous segment, you cannot do this in game. You must do it from the config folder. Now in game, click on the NEI wrench in the bottom left, hit inventory and scroll down to where it says favorites. You're gonna change the depth number here. It's default set to three. And if this means that the crafting chain you wanna execute will only do three steps deep worth of crafting. You wanna change this to a higher number so that your auto crafting can do more complex uh, you know, recipes such as multi-block controllers or circuits. I've tested between 10 and 15. 15 seems like a, a good enough number where nothing really goes wrong. And this is like, uh, you'll, you'll get everything you want done. Um, as, as I spoke about earlier, this is only going to be useful in the early game. So after this, it's not really going to be, uh, used for long, long crafting chains. So 15 seems right about the, the place where you want to be. After you've set this done, you can actually now exit your NEI configs. Now onto the fun part, the actual crafting chain. For this example, we're gonna look at auto crafting a steam extractor, a single block that you will definitely use in the early stages of GTNH. We'll start by favoriting the first recipe, which is the recipe that will craft the single block steam extractor itself. You will know it's favorited by the heart showing up green. 
Now we will favorite the sub components. For your own crafting chains, you can choose how many recipes you want to favorite. It's up to you to decide what you want any eye to keep track of when it comes to knowing what to autocraft. For this example, I'll click on the piston and I will favorite this. I'll click on iron gears. That's already favorited. I'll click on red alloy plates. That's already favorited. So now you'll see that I'm trying to build a chain of all the sub components that will actually make up the craft for the steam extractor. Once you are satisfied with all the stuff you want to craft, you will go back to the main craft itself, and now you'll click Control Shift A on oh, ho while hovering over the favorite, the uh, the green favorited heart. Again, that's Control Shift A. That will bring up the entire crafting chain on the left side with everything that you need to keep track of. Now it's your turn to gather the materials and make sure that they're all in your inventory. If you don't have all the items, the auto craft will stop in the middle, and then you can go gather the rest. This can be useful if you intend to break it up or if you forget something while you're trying to craft whatever you're crafting. Note, in the crafting chain, if you include a recipe for a tool, such as a screwdriver or a wrench, it will craft an additional wrench or screwdriver or tool, whatever it happens to be, if the materials are in your inventory, even if some of the percentage is already used. It will try to craft an additional wrench thinking it is part of the recipe chain. So don't include the craft for a wrench or a wire cutter within your recipe chain here. Have an additional page down here, maybe a bookmark page of a secondary page that has crafts for either iron or steel, whatever tool material you're using in the early game that you can easily access. So if you need a new material or you need a new tool, sorry, uh, if one of these runs out or breaks, all you have to do is, you know, use the is put the items in your inventory and you can easily craft a secondary tool. So just to make, make sure I, I note that correctly, please do not include a tool inside your crafting chain as it will try to craft an additional one. So now, after all of that, and you finally have all the uh, all the tools in your inventory, you have all the items in your inventory, everything you possibly need, and you can check that by holding shift over this, and you'll see you're missing items. That doesn't really matter. If you're missing tools, it means that somewhere in the recipe chain, it's it wants to use a single-use hammer, single-use wrench. That doesn't matter. As long as you have the tool, whatever variant of the tool, in your inventory, it will work. So now... Once you have that done, and I'm actually want to craft two in this instance, so we can uh, so we can show you how the the speed and how it'll do both. You're gonna get a vanilla crafting table. This only works on a vanilla crafting table. Not a crafting station cannot be connected to an inventory. You can only use a vanilla crafting table. Once you have the vanilla crafting table placed down, you'll open it up. You're gonna hover over the green bookmarks group tab, and you're going to hit Shift C. And there you go. As you can see, it actually auto crafted the steam extractor from the crafting recipe chain that you that, that you put together. We're also going to do a second example live. I want to create large wooden fluid pipes. This is something you will create, uh, something you will make in the early game in lots of quantities, depending on how far away your water tanks are. So as you can see, I've already favorited the recipe. So I'm going to put the favorites recipe down here, and then I'm going to grab a bunch of wood. Let's just grab. Uh, oak planks because that uh, because it's or dictionary so oak planks will also work and I want to craft two stacks of oak planks now it shows me that I have the soft mallet and the saw in my inventory so all I need to do is click shift C wait for a second and there you go two stacks of large wooden fluid pipes are now done NEI auto crafting is a very, very important and new feature that you must utilize in the early game of GTNH. It is going to save a lot of time. That's NEI in a nutshell, and all the information you need to use this auto crafting feature to its fullest. The feature itself is very powerful, so use it wisely, and do not blame me if it gets nerfed. I'm simply here to give you the information when it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to see more GTNH content, consider dropping a sub and a like on this video and commenting what types of video you'd like to see next. I'm always on the lookout for new videos to make. Additionally, follow me on Twitch. That's where I stream G10H almost every day, and I show off features like this one early and talk about all sorts of news related to dev updates and the state of G10H, and sometimes even show off features that the devs give me early access to. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.